Don't follow trends, follow your heart. This is the English version of the Quantum Report. Remember to watch the Astrology Report for the Lunar Eclipse in Gemini on the channel. Five minutes of quantum plus 30 seconds of heartfulness. Are you mentally lazy? With sloppy thinking and focus? Clear your mental field and create the inner life you want. Then the rest will follow. Welcome to five minutes of effective quantum. According to the law of attraction in the age of Aquarius version of the concept. Still with respect for the scientific part of quantum physics. However, with the divine aspect attached. The law of attraction is basically about you being responsible for the vibration, energy you send out, knowing that this is what returns. Often a negative life situation is a stagnation in a certain thought pattern, which stems from you having been mentally lazy. You simply have not consciously observed where your thoughts led you. And then you stagnate in every way as they will run in the same circles they usually do. I think a thought three times and you can observe a physical bridge between two halves of the brain being established in your brain. Remember, your brain is a tool and not an intelligence that should control you at your core. In the silent space without thoughts, you are locked on to nature and the divine's greatest intelligence and receive intuitive guidance when the time is right, not when the ego and the little brain want to climb to force something through. Then you say, the law of attraction governs me. And if I do not capture my dissatisfaction early in my train of thought, I drift away from my core and essence and create the unwanted. I get a very bad conscience over how bad I have been at focusing on the meaningful. Now I have created so much negativity for myself. No, you have created a greater contrast that will get you shot even faster towards what you want if you let go of control and surrender to the process to nature in confidence and just focus on your inner healthy space. One can be under the influence of one's higher self, the inner sensor, or one can be under the influence of what one sees in the surroundings, the outer world. If you are under the influence of the first, things feel light and intuition prevails. By number two, you'll be led by layers like fear or stagnation in what is, what you can see around you. You change your reality by creating it from within. Creating the life you want is all about focus. Focus on what you want in spirit, thought, speech, and action. All this put together becomes the frequency and the vibration you send out and always the one you receive. Reality reflects, so to speak, your frequency. If you do not like what you get, you have to go in and fine-tune your vibration by changing focus. Become aware of what you are thinking about, whether it is something that feels negative or positive. People in your circle, um, do they feed the good thoughts or do they hold you back? Are there any choices you need to make? Most important is what stories you tell in your mind. But I forget it, Maria. I only discover when it's too late that I have raged about something unjust or beaten myself up mentally and spiritually for not being good enough. How do I stop this? By raising your awareness in the present. Be more present in the now. Feel your body more. Be more nature. Most important of all, meditate. It increases your awareness of everything. That's how you become aware of the negativity within and shift your focus. All the senses are, senses are sharpened and your higher self uh, comes into play. Get in touch with who you really are and find your center through looking inward. Meditate every day, preferably twice a day, so you do not get too far away from the centered state. And when you've finished meditating, take the inner wakefulness with you in everything you do. If my words are to have an effect, you will have to actively choose the good story, the best imaginable uh, imaginable you can find in as much as what you think uh, of what you think is possible and it requires uh, vigilance it gives uh, that's what meditation gives you at the same time uh, meditation brings you home so to speak um, home to an inner silence uh, that is uh, better than anything else the abundance of the earth can give you actually but you will have to experience it for yourself Experience it on your body and in your own heart. 
And it requires you to give it time and do it every day for a long time. No lasting solutions come from a lazy attempt. You yourself must observe that uh, what we call magic is our natural state and reality. There's magic everywhere, unimaginable solutions and wonderful love and adventure available in the reality we have here on Earth. And life here is meant to be fun. You create it. And it starts with you getting cleared out of all the rules and thoughts and feeling. The silence speak without words. Oh, Maria, why is it so important to meditate? I still do not understand. Because meditation gets you into the now, into the focus on one single thing that just doesn't allow your thoughts to take over. When we in heartfulness meditate on the heart, it is about that every time we get a thought, we quietly move the conscious down into the heart region, down into the chest, in full focus on this. There are no conscious thoughts. Influ- intuitions, yes, but not the thought, blah, blah, blah kind of thought. See you in the heart. P.S. All over the world in 150 countries, heartfulness works with volunteers who are ready to meditate with you online also with a transmission, and it's for free. And it's with transmission. Heartfulness is far more effective than mindfulness, according to the undersigned, as it can get you into delta waves, a state far deeper than mindfulness, which is in its essence, uh, essence is held in beta state, in the beta state, as it is without transmission, but held on a more three-dimensional level. Write to me privately at maria at rainbowland.dk on the comment section if you want me to find a coach for you in your area. Hugs. 20 seconds of commercial for the colorful brand Rainbowland.dk, which is my fantasy world where I'm making designs. And uh, I broke uh, through with the concept in uh, Tokyo in 2017. After more than 17 years of designing it, you can buy it on Rainbowland.dk. Don't follow trends, follow your heart.